Yo, what is up guys? My name is Elusive and today I'm going to show you guys how to install 64-bit Tmod Loader after the 1.4 patch. So this is not Tmod Loader or 1.4. This is just getting you a past version of Terraria so you can install the 64-bit of Tmod Loader while they work on it and until they update it for 1.4, which who knows how long that will be. They they said that they have to completely rewrite everything so yeah this is just for the time being if you had a mod pack how to continue it if you did update your game so let's just go ahead and get started it's pretty simple the only thing is is that you will have to have a legit copy of terraria to do this so if you have a pirated version sorry this isn't gonna work uh but but what we're gonna do here is there is a link down in the description uh you want to go to there this is all on the 64-bit Tmod Loader Discord, by the way. I will link that down in the description for you guys to join their Discord. It's in the Tmod 64-bit install channel, and you guys can go there and find the text version of this. So basically what you want to do is, there's this link in there, you just want to click enter, it'll auto-download. And I'm downloading again just to show you guys that, you know, this, this is legit, and... All right, here, let's go ahead. So I just made a new folder called Tmod Loader that I put everything into. So we're just going to drag and drop this in there. Right click, extract to Depot Downloader, and it'll create a new folder. Just want to do that. So you will need a unzipping kind, you will need, or unzipping program. So you'll need 7-Zip or WinRAR. I use WinRAR, but you'll need one of those. I will have a link for both those down in the description. And so you just go to the Depot Downloader folder. You want to click up here in the file path and then just copy everything. Just control C it. Next, you want to go in your Windows, go CMD, and boom, start CMD. And you will want to do CD space and then just paste the directory that you have. And so now you are in that directory. Now, the thing you want to type now is .NET depot not deport depot down okay i cannot type just make sure you have all this correct because there's a little bit to uh type and it sucks having to retype it i had to do it myself as as you can see i can't type and i will have this down in the description for you guys to look at i suggest um not copying and pasting it now you can but the reason why I suggest not copying and pasting it is because sometimes CMD copying and pasting can be a little weird. And as well, uh, it, you're going to have to input your information here in a second, like your Steam thing to log in. And that uh, copying and like replacing and everything in CMD can sometimes be a little buggy uh, if you don't do it right. So it's best to just personally to uh just type it at least i find if you guys want to copy and paste it you can but so now here where whenever you type in the dash username you will want to put in your steam username so and then as well as with the password you will want to put in your steam password now i know a lot of you guys are probably worried oh it's going to steal my password and everything it is not it is connecting to a secure steam server to download the direct files of the old version of Terraria directly from Steam. If you guys want to look it up, it's called Depot Downloader, and it's it's connecting to an actual Steam server. So you just want to put in your information, and then that sounds really sketchy. But after you put in your password, you just want to hit enter. It'll log you in, and then it'll ask for your Authenticator app code if you do have that installed, which I will put mine here in a second. I uh, believe that is correct. Boom. There we go. It is all we got to do is wait for this to be at 100%. And once it gets done, I will be back and show you guys what to do. Okay. Now that it's downloaded, all you can do is you just close it. There you go. Then you want to go to the Depot Downloader. You'll have a new folder called Depots. It'll be 105601. You want to go there. And you'll see this folder. This is where Terraria downloaded. You'll want to rename this folder Tmod, uh, what was it, 
tmod 64 bit just like this make sure there's no spaces you want to go ahead and copy that folder you want to go to your steam folder so mine is in my c drive you want to go to it's usually in the c drive program files steam uh steam apps common right here i already have mine i'm just going to go ahead and delete it so i can show you guys uh real quick but you just want to go to wherever your steam is if you want to install it on a different drive do that wherever you wherever steam is wherever a steam location of games are you want to go there you just want to paste that folder we'll take a second to post or post paste uh it shouldn't take too long though terraria is a pretty small game now you will have the terraria uh the new version of terraria and now what you want to do is you want to go to this link this is where you download team on loader 64 bit i'll have this link in the description you want to download if you are on windows which i am i don't know how this would work for mac or linux so i'm sorry about that but for windows you want to download the first one you just want to right or uh, no right click you just or well yeah right, right click wow okay you want to right click it download standard download and then it should download it now i already have it and this actually takes a second so i'm going to just open up my downloads all right no it's in the desktop tmod loader and then I have it right here. So basically what you want to do is you just want to open up the zip. Uh, if you want to, you can extract it to a folder if it's easier for you. Uh, you just want to control A, select all of them, and drag them into the place, the folder of Tmod 64 bit. Now that you are done with that, should be good. And whenever you want to play, you just want to start Terraria.exe. And to create a shortcut, you can send it to, uh, you can drag it to your taskbar, you can pin it to your start. Uh, pin to taskbar, pin to start, create shortcut, put it on your desktop, whatever you want to do. Now you just double click to launch it, and now you should have 64 bit Terraria. Now, the thing is, is if you have Tmod Loader on Steam, the new Tmod Loader on Steam, it will have whatever mods you have on that, like downloaded or anything like that, it shares that same mod folder with the 64 bit so those mods are shared what's enabled what's disabled the configs everything like that is shared so if you change say a config of a mod in 64 bit it will change it in the regular t mod loader or if you have you know 50 mods or whatever enabled on 64 bit 150 whatever you know however many mods it'll keep those enabled on the regular t mod loader so if you are transferring from 64 bit and then the regular one like you're doing like two playthroughs or something like that make sure you have mod packs and enable and disable from what you have because if you have too many mods installed where the regular t mod loader cannot handle it it will not start up so you want to make sure you do not have too many mods whenever you are going to the other t mod loader so you will have to come into 64 bit and disable them so that's why i suggest making a mod pack and just so you can just go you know back and forth uh, but honestly if you have this one there's no reason to do the team mod loader on steam until they update it for 1.4 and by then 64 bit will probably be updated too but other than that guys i hope you guys found this helpful if you did hit that like button hit that subscription button it really does help out a lot i'm probably going to be doing some modded content i'm probably going to be doing master mode playthrough and such like that so i hope you guys are excited for that Hit subscribe if you are, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.